In today's training, we'll be walking you through the new Phoenix Eligibility Dashboard available to you in Arbiter Sports. To begin, you'll go to the Eligibility tab located at the top of your screen. Upon entering the Eligibility Dashboard, you'll see any current eligibility periods you have open, as well as any archived eligibility periods that you've previously had open in Arbiter. If you need to edit any of the current eligibility periods that you have open, you can do so by clicking the three little dots, clicking edit, giving it whatever name it needs and whatever dates it needs. Once you have the current eligibilities edited to your liking, you can always add new eligibilities. If the new eligibility is just a duplicate of the current eligibility, but maybe the dates changed, what you can do is click the three dots again, click duplicate, and it's going to duplicate this exact scenario for whatever date range you'd like to change. So if you were just duplicating the 2020-21 school year into the 2021-2022 school year, you could do that easily by clicking duplicate. In today's training though, we'll be walking you through the entire process of adding a new eligibility. To begin, you'll click the blue plus in the right hand corner. From here, you'll give your eligibility a name, And then you can select either group by school year or a date range. Most groups choose a date range so that they can customize when their open and closed dates might be. So in this case, once we've selected our date range, we can click create. If we scroll down, we'll see that newly created eligibility period. From there, we'll need to add our eligibility. To begin, you'll give your eligibility a name. Perhaps this is local dues or state dues or background check, whatever you may want to give this eligibility. From there, you'll select the sport that this eligibility applies to. Um, if you did have multiple sports in your account, you could select whichever sport that eligibility that you were building applies to. In this case, where this is a basketball account, so we will select basketball. Legacy sport should follow the same sport you just previously selected. And then these will be the open and close dates for this particular eligibility underneath this 2021-2022 school year. So we'd give it our date range. It can follow the same as the eligibility period or it can be different. Now you've created your eligibility and you can add tiers if you'd like to. Tiers typically represent different levels of that eligibility. So in this case, local dues would probably only have a paid eligibility tier. From there, we can upload an icon. click confirm, and then save that tier. That icon will now be the icon that applies to anyone that's met the paid eligibility. From here, if you do plan on using um, different requirements that are within the Arbiter system, such as our background check system, our online clinics, our in-person events, a registration or a testing, you can do so by adding them as requirements. If you plan on just mass updating officials and they are completing a registration in another software other than Arbiter, you will not put any requirements here and you've pretty much finished your step of building the eligibility. So if we go back to our eligibility tab, you'll see you've now got that eligibility built for local dues. If you needed to add an additional one, maybe we needed background check. You could do so here. It's going to be the same sport. We've got our date range. Click create. Confirm saved here, and 
we're also doing these in a system other than Arbiter, so we won't list any actual requirements under there. Now, we've got our two eligibilities built for next school year. If we were ready to give these eligibilities to certain officials, say someone has already completed their local dues and completed their background check, we can go right here to Monitor Eligibility. From Monitor Eligibility page, you would select the organization. From there, you're going to get a list of any officials that do fall underneath your organization. And if you needed to mass update them and give them that specific eligibility, you can select those officials, come right up here to the three dots where it says mass enroll and mass mark complete. We'll click mass mark complete, select the eligibility period we'd like to give them completion for, select the eligibility and the tier. Once we click mark complete, it will give these two officials the eligibility for local dues paid. That's the process of setting up an eligibility and then giving officials credit for that eligibility. Thank you.